Hello, and welcome to the Barbarian Cooking Channel. some meals, some of his favorites. He loves meal prep night. I'm gonna show you how to cook and eat like a savage. Now this is lean bison ground. Um, I like going with a little leaner uh, red meat than say beef <laughs> or something else. Um, so we're just gonna form this into two patties. So I'm just going to kind of break it apart where Natchez wants to divide into two pieces. That'll help these patties stay together. These are a lot leaner, so that helps to keep them kind of in that natural patty form they already in. And just kind of split them down the middle. That way they'll stay together because they don't have all that fat holding them together. And we're going to sear these. This is a little more difficult to sear them each side about five minutes and then on um, put a little better on the grate so they don't stick four minutes each side sear then we're going to take the sear plate out and then leave them in there and get an internal temp on them um, okay we got a couple things finishing up we got this done we're going to let that sit wait for our salmon because we're going to drizzle that over the top of it we have our rice finished off i've taken it off the heat I'll let that sit for a little bit and then we'll fork that up. Now let's go check on our sweet potatoes. They should be done. Yep, they are. Let's turn this off. Let me try to not burn myself. And this is hot, hot. Okay, we're done with the oven for tonight. Turn that off. And look at these guys sizzle. This is probably one of my favorite dishes to have during the week. I cook this every week, regardless of what I'm having. Usually always having chicken and sweet potato and fish and some sort of lean red meat and other veggies, but I always have sweet potatoes. Okay, we're gonna get these sweet potatoes out of the way so we can make room for our fish. This is the only pan I have. Leave it. All right, we got our pan ready for the salmon. We got our salmon thawed out out of the package, and uh, I just use frozen salmon that are already pre-cut. This is really simple. They already come in these nice uh, portion sizes for meals. And look what I found. Good thing for Odin, I am super messy and dropped some sweet potato which he is going to want. Sit. Lay down. Good boy. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, see that tail wagon? This is his favorite part. Because I am messy. Okay, real quick. Let's fork up our rice a little bit so it doesn't get stuck in this position. Let's throw our salmon on this guy. So, we goofed up a little bit, but we didn't set a timer for the chicken. I'm sure it'll work itself out. Let's go check. It's been about a burgers we're gonna put that um, plate in there and that's what we're gonna use for a sear plate it's gonna be about 180 degrees hotter than the temp that we set it at look at this chick no Odin wants that all right look at that we got the chicken inside leaving it right next to to where this little sous chef might go a little beyond his duty, so we're gonna go ahead and set that on a really high plate. All right, right, bud. You'll get some later. Okay, so we got it set at 450. We're gonna go down to 425. Just a nice lean red meat that they are. I like the buffalo flavor. So all I'm gonna do is take some butter and put it on the searing plate. So it's gonna get a little bit of the butter while it's searing. And then I'm just gonna leave it on there and let it kind of get that smoky flavor that the uh, Rectech is uh, known for with those wood pellets and the smoking, so. Now, butter's not necessarily good for my cholesterol. And I use this um, when I'm eating bagels or anything else um, that requires butter. However, when I'm cooking on the grill, and specifically with burgers when I need to sear something, I'm gonna use a real butter um, that I think is gonna be a little better uh, for searing. And All right, so while we're waiting on the rec tech to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the reduction over the salmon and get that ready to bake. Even though that's gonna be last, we'll have it ready and set aside. Notice how this has gotten pretty syrupy. I had a little more honey this time than uh, usual and just because I wanted to play around with the flavor and you can kind of see that effect and that it's a little more syrupy this time. Than usual. I'm gonna get a little spatula since it is a little syrupy. Try and whisk it up a little bit. Look at that color. I haven't had that color before. It's a really nice color with uh, a little more honey in it. The honey, the cayenne pepper, it's giving a nice red tone. Since I'm a little messy, I like to go through and give each one a little bit in case I accidentally dump it all out in one area that way. 
be stopped. <laughs> Spread loaded. Um, the love of this reduction on most of it. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna call that ready to go in there, but we're gonna have to wait. So very plain frozen salmon just went to the next level. So I'm going to take my butter, roll it down and just hold it in my hand like this. Go in that sear plate which is going to be about 180 degrees hotter than the 425. We're just going to rub that on there nice and liberally. on there shut and we're gonna do that for four minutes okay we're gonna flip them and do another four minutes Let's see that sear on there okay it's been four minutes we're gonna take them off of that and just put them on the grill I like my bison burgers uh, medium rare so we're at internal temp of 140 on both of those and we're gonna go ahead and take them off. Next we're turning our grill all the way down to 250 for the same. Take a look at those bison burgers. Because of the sear I got all that juice and everything still trapped on the inside. Now since this is YouTube I'll cut one of these bad boys open for you. Normally I like to keep them sealed up for my meals. Let's go ahead and cut it open. See that juice? So this is my meals for the next four days, and I preloaded them with rice that we cooked earlier. We're obviously doing morning, or these are not breakfast. So breakfast is going to be eggs or oatmeal. I'll, I'll rotate between days. This is first lunch after workout, so getting a little more carbs with the uh, additional rice. This is second lunch, and then this will be dinner, which will be uh, salads for what I'm doing right now. So let's divide up some veggies. test one. That's good. Let's see if I can watch one. Oh, yeah. What? I'm not sure if he likes broccoli or not. Yeah. He's not too sure about it. Will it pass the Odin test? Is it good, bud? I'm taking this as indication as he doesn't like it. Um, maybe he doesn't know what to do with those burnt ends, but. Is it good? If he liked it, this would already be gone. He doesn't like it. He's just afraid he's not going to get more food if he doesn't eat it. Which I don't know why I would give him it to him anyways. Now, let's get some of this sweet tea in there.
This, I know Odin will like. All right, here's my taste test. And now, Odin. That's it. Oh, he does look on that. Lay down. Okay. And he wastes no time. With the sweet potato. No, nope, broccoli, no. Nope. Yeah, he's gonna lick his plate. Sweet potato. It's an Odin pass. High five. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Odin. Sit. High five. Yeah. Alright, so I'll load my two bison patties. Up here for some evening salads. It's your chicken. So we'll eat that tonight. And by a little, I mean actually, we have quite a bit of extra chicken. But it's nice to have some extra um, for meals that I might need in addition to the ones I prepped. Mm. And these are bad. Mm. All right, let's see how little drooly monster here takes the chicken. Make him work this one. Ah, ah, back. Stay. Down. Spin. Lay down. Other way. Other way. Lay down. Back. Come in. Sit. High five. How was it? <laughs> How was it, buddy? Yeah, well. well, that's safe to say Odin approves. Okay, the rec tech's right about 260 so, so we're gonna go ahead and bring these out and put them on and put them in for an hour. Okay, we're right around 250, we're gonna go ahead and throw these in here. All that smoke, that's gonna smoke that for an hour at 250 degrees and it'll be done. Don't have to do anything, just set the timer and wait. <sighs> Alright, so here we are. One hour later. Let's see. Uh, temp's still sitting at 251. 
So this thing keeps it at the temperature you want by at least a degree. All right, we got our salmon inside. It's ready for a close up. Those are gonna be good. All, right. All we have left to do is load up our salmon. All right, so this is it. As you can see here, we have 12 meals ready to go. Um, so a couple hours work, and this is what we got. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. amazing what putting a little time into making these meals will do. It'll save you a lot of time during the week. And I am going to eat these guys right now. Feeling like owl plate tonight. I'm going to skin the Odin once that cools down. He loves his fish. Right, right, Odin. Oh man. Mm. Again, I forgot to set the timer because it's busy filming. Um, so I had to kind of guess. But I got close to an hour. These are maybe a little past an hour. Um, they're usually perfect at, at an hour. I would say these are a little overdone, still delicious. Mm. Definitely a little sweeter with that additional honey. Now we're ready for Odin's taste test. Back, lay down. Wait, wait. Okay. No. Odin approved. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is cover all these up, divide them up into days, and label them. Throw them in the fridge. And that's all I have to worry about for the next four days. And we got extra. Thanks for your help, bud. Yeah. All right, so while we're waiting that full long hour for the smoked salmon to get done, I'm gonna go ahead and reflect on a couple things. 
um, recording during the cooking and food prep process proved to be a little more difficult than I thought. Um, next videos, I will have a lot better setup and I know where I have some room to improve. The, uh, the idea for this video is showing the process of the food prep. We'll see how it, that was fun though. Um, definitely there's already a lot of things going on with food prep and you're doing, you know, cooking several different things, several different meats, several different vegetables all at once. Got the oven going, uh, stove top and the Rectag grill. So it's plus you're um, moving cameras back and forth and having fun with Odin all, all at the same time. So the next videos, um, probably focus more on individual recipes. If you're going to follow this, uh, the Barbarian cooking channel, then that's what you can expect in the future. It's probably more focused in on uh, some recipes. And so if you want, subscribe, uh, comment below, and let me know your thoughts. Remember the Barbarian principles. Every man makes his own way in this life. And by every man, I mean every human. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep seeing me fumble around the kitchen and feeding my dog uh, while doing food prep or just uh, diving into some of the other recipes I like to make. Till next time.